SKB, what is the deal? This is SKB fishing. I'm out here, I'm outside in my driveway, and I got a big hot mess right now. You know, I got everything out on, on the deck. But most importantly, I got some heat. It's cold out. It's like 37 degrees up here in New England. But a couple of lakes don't have ice, and I've been out in the water fishing. But I'm in between units, getting my boat all ready for the Bassmaster Opus this year. You know, I'm um, getting really excited, but uh, I'm in between units and I had two Helix G3Ns up here. You know, I had two of these bad boys up here and I had Mega 360 to one of them and I had down imaging and regular 2D sonar on the other. And I just played around with mapping between both the units, you know, and everything was all good, but I'm going to condense this way. I may be able to take this way. I can take advantage of, of some other technologies that, you know, that I might want to add on my boat, but I'm going to condense, you know, so I'm going to put a 12 inch unit up here. And so I've had this dilemma when I've been on the water and that dilemma is, um, you know, I'm toggling between mega 360 and I'm toggling between down imaging, you know, and I only have one input, you know, for, for sonar. And that's what you have on these helix units. You have one input for, um, for your sonar. So to, to solve that problem, you basically need a Y cable, you know, um, and I went and got a Y cable. I reached out to my guy, Steven Estes, cool dude at Bass Fishing Electronics. This guy is the real deal, man. He does installs, does a lot of wiring, and he's got everything you need. He has yet to tell me no <laughs> with anything I need from him so far. Up here in New England, New Hampshire, man. Give that guy a holler. Bass Fishing Electronics. All right, but back to this. So, so I have a cable management system here with Hummingbird in... Just to give you a quick rundown. You know, this is more for people that don't know because I've been getting a lot of questions and I, as I've been selling units, people have just been asking me questions about how to get everything all connected up and, and what you need. Well, if you have a Helix, you know, this is how it reads, you know, for a Helix unit. You have your 2D sonar input, which is your transducer. Um, this right here is going to be uh, a data cable for networking um, one, one device, you know, or networking to a hub, you know, but that's going to be your data input. Um, this one right here is for external uh, GPS, and I'm not sure what this one this one is for right now. Uh, and this is going to be power, right? So the reason why you need that Y cable is because you have two you have two uh, transducers that you're trying to connect through through one port. So I'm going to connect that up. I'm going to take this off right now because I have the um, 2D sonar coming through there, and I'm going to connect um, this Y cable up, get that all connected up, and then uh, test everything out. And then there's another feature using Mega360 that I've been getting some questions about too. So I'll explain that that part too, and that's just how to set it up for uh, navigation. So I'm gonna do these connections real quick, and then um, we'll power it on and, and, and go, go from there. All right. So right now I got the Y cable right here. Adapter cable I don't need. Keep in mind, this is the adapter cable that you need to use for any 360 or uh, built-in um, transducer on any trolling motor right now. It's set up for a Solix unit, but you have, um, uh, this, this is how, this is the input for Helix. So you need this adapter cable no matter how you slice the pie. So I'm still gonna use one of these adapter cables for the transducer. I already have it connected up here, you know, and then I won't need one obviously for the uh, Y cable. my transducer cable coming out right now and that is going to be connected to this piece right here on the Y cable connection right here is going to go to my Mega 360, which is right here.
And just so I don't miss a step. Now, I have my Y cable right here. Let me back up a little bit. I have my Y cable. And I have the uh, tr sonar transducer cable connected right here. And again, this is your 2D sonar input. This is your network input. I have that network to a Helix G3N SI DI model on my console. This right here, um, I'll get into that in one second. Actually, I'll get into that right now. So, um, if you want to use your 360 and you want to um, mark waypoints on your 360 unit, you need to set it up for navigation. So the features to set it up for navigation are on the unit, they're already pre-built in, but you won't get that functionality unless you have one of these guys right here. And that's this Hummingbird AS GPS HS Precision Compass. You need this. I put this here because um, to avoid any magnetic interference that I had over here, you know, um, and uh, if that's the ideal spot, I'm not sure, but it's working for me right now. Uh, but anyway, you need that compass if you want to get that 360 functionality waypoint uh, feature marking waypoints on your 360 screen, and I'll show you that. So that basically is this cable right here, and I'm gonna run that right here. Okay, everything's all snug in there. Cable management system, transducer, network, external GPS, power. So let's connect this up and see what we got here. Okay, so now we'll just exit out. So it's redetecting my Mega 360 unit. So let's just make sure everything is connected. Yes. Got a little bit of a reflection on the screen, but. All right, so say Mega 360 not detected. So we'll go right into the menu and go immediately and look for what's networked. And this is what you want to look for. So 360 says it sees it. <clears throat> GPS sources. This is good. Now right here, let me show you something real quick, right? So you have an internal GPS on all the uh, all the units. The control head, you know, is gonna have a built-in GPS, right? Which is why you have internal right here. But I connected that external GPS, and this is the problem I had yesterday. I couldn't mark any waypoints on my 360. And I'm like, what did I do wrong? You know, 
in my haste to get everything connected, I forgot to connect that, that input cable from my external GPS. So when you connect that external GPS, you should see this right here, external and enhance. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select that right now. And that one's all set. And let's get back to uh, figuring out what's going on with my 360. So 360, I think it's not detected because it's not in the water, right? But it definitely sees it. So it's not spinning, which is why it's not detected. But once I put that guy in the water, see, this is what you want to see, you know? So as long as the screen comes up, the input is reading. So the head's like, yo, I, I see you over there. Something's telling me you exist, but the 360's not working because it's not in the water. So once you have this functionality right here, you're good to go. So I may not be able to demonstrate the next ex the next um, usage for the 360 uh, because it's not in the water, but let's see. So if you scroll around, so so you can't scroll right now because this isn't, isn't functioning. But if we go to menu, and let's see, actually, let's go back to the top menu here. And you'll see Mega360 settings right here. So this right here, once you go into Mega360 settings, you can you make sure you're on the right transducer, which is Mega Chirp. But you want to turn navigation on 360. You want to make sure that is that is on, okay? And once that is on, you can exit out. And you get to your Mega360 screen. <clears throat> and you can scroll over, and you'll be able to mark waypoints. So for how I, the way I use this right now, just some quick settings real quick, you know, um, I always make sure my 360 is, is uh, my top screen for a shortcut. And then I'll go through my views and I'll get a uh, 360 with, um, with, with mapping. I think I just passed it right there and then I'll uh and you can change the pane changes your positioning make things larger however you want it you know so you get a larger picture of the 360 you know and then um I'll just save that right here in the shortcuts and then the um next one I do going to be a sonar and down image and it'll be a split screen right here this is going to be sonar and it's going to be down imaging and I'll save that for number three and then like settings on the 360 you know that varies you know you kind of just want to start out the default settings are, are pretty good right up to 20 feet and then you can start um really fine-tuning that you know so like 20 feet of water, this is kind of how I have set up for for 20 feet of water. 20 feet of water w with a hard bottom. That That's the key, you know. Um, I might even be able to show you some images that I have saved on here. From uh, using my 360. Let's see here, I just saw that screen. All right, right here. Um, see here there we go so I think I can just toggle through them or I'll go up and down these are all images that I just saved you know um, uh, last week fishing you see the wood right there you can see the fish underneath them you know see the shadows of the, of the fish right there and this is all weeds right here and this is kind of you know a harder bottom as you can see the the gravel and stuff pretty good spot right um but that's pretty much it that's all you need to see right now uh with with working with getting this all set up basically in order to get your mega 360 connected to your built-in transducer you need a y cable all right that's pretty much it this is skb fishing i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the quick video on how to get started um i'll put up some more videos on how i get using my helix units uh, when i get my g4 when i get my 12 on here and also when i get on the water and I get the 360 working because the 360 will not work. This thing doesn't stop spinning unless there's a sensor right here that uh, gets under the water. Once that's under the water, that thing stops spinning.
So it's SKB fishing. I'll get at you guys later. Helix G3N using the wire cable so you can get both functionality from your Mega 360 and your built-in Hummingbird down imaging transducer. SKB fishing. Holler at your boy. Peace.